I am aware that official GHEG has a large notoriety. Given the fact that his subscriber counts are rather high, given the fact many people talk about him, and just overall his public reaction. For that reason long, many people may consider it surprising and not in a good way that I dislike his content. And many people may also throw the assumption that I'm just doing these videos for attention just to stir up some controversy, i.e. my Some Guy 27 video and my Take Shot Action video. And if I debunk that, many people may say, well, what about your Frogger videos? I'd just like to state firmly that none of my videos, apart from my Astro Effects video, which got quite a surprising feedback, none of them are intended to start drama. The Frogger videos, I, weren't, I wasn't intending to start drama. I wasn't trying to piss off them. In fact, I thought that Frogger would respond in quite a calm manner. Though I, that was before I knew him and Skull Ripper's beef. Further proof that I wasn't trying to start drama with anyone, when I was doing my video on Take Shot Action, I really didn't want to get into drama with him. Because he seemed like a nice guy and I didn't really want to antagonise him or turn him on a bad side. So I messaged him on Skype since I had him on my, on my Skype. And I basically told him, hey, I'm doing a video on you, is that fine? And he responded, yeah, go ahead. And then, you know, we seemed relatively cool. I, I just wanted to precaution him so he didn't get it the wrong way. With the some guy thing, I just really didn't give a shit how he responded. The reason I don't like official GATG is the same reason why I don't like Inquisitive Joe because he bores me, and I think that he takes the same success criteria of everyone else. But the difference with him and Inquisitive Joe is that he takes it to the next level. He decides to stretch on these topics and go on and on. One example would be the blood and the dance floor stuff that he constantly does. He just stretches out the topic until it's already done and redundant. It's fine bringing a new perspective or even more, something new to the table, when you're just reiterating the same point, video after video after video after video after fucking video, it gets a bit boring. Along with this, the Smosh e-begging situation. He constantly did videos on this. I say the best thing to do as a content creator is knowing when to let go of a topic. I mean, if you constantly do video after video on something, it kind of just defeats the purpose of being a ranter. Being a ranter is just letting stuff off your chest and venting not perpetually talking about something. One example of this being, the Frogger situation. When I got into beef with Frogger, I knew when to let go. The third video. Third video being a huge pawnage on his fail of a video. As George Lucas said, you either die a hero or see yourself become the villain. And that's one thing I have to say. Another example of someone knowing when to let go, Mr. Epsion. Now I'm not saying that I'm, I like Mr. Epsion anyway, but I do respect him for this one thing. When the whole Onision thing was hitting the fan, he knew when to stop. He knew when to say, right, I'm not doing any more videos on Onision. I respect Mr. Epsion's action, not him as a person. In addition to that, another problem I have is that his videos are so long and boring. And it may seem a bit hypocritical of me saying this because I have Skull Ripper boxed and he does long videos as well, but the difference between him and official GATG is that his videos are long for a damn good reason. If he's doing a response to someone, he's obviously got to have a long length video because he's got to add extra points while also showing the clip of the video. Now granted, some of his videos are questionably long, but official GAT videos are way worse. They're disorientated, not structured well, and his voice isn't distinctive from what I've seen. And you may ask, well, why should I take your advice seriously? Well, for one, change is something us humans should be okay of, and changing your style may, you know, maybe my advice is better than what you're currently doing. Who knows? Change is essential. Change helps people. Change helps people grow. I change all the time. I try and change my content because I'm not, I'm not thinking that my current style is the best thing ever. And with your videos, while I agree with the conclusion, your reasoning behind them could be rather flawed. One example of this is eating meat equals pedophilia, Morrissey's logic, where you left out a nugget of information that you could have thrown in, while also using the appeal to emotion fallacy. A pedophile. What? When we think of a pedophile, what do we think about? Some sick, twisted person that has sick fantasies of touching prepubescent children, and in a lot of cases, leads up to molestation. After the pedophile finds a way to draw in the victim, like the whole, uh, there's candy in my van, that, that is the same as eating meat. Eh, that's the same as me taking a bite out of this Philly cheesesteak. 
The ex-Smith's frontman compared eating animals to pedophilia, claiming both are rape, violence, murder, and declared that support of slaughterhouses means support for the Auschwitz concentration camp. So he's taking the PETA approach with this whole thing, where PETA just loves to compare the slaughterhouses where chickens, cows, and pigs are being slaughtered for food, comparing that to slaughtering humans. I'm sorry, but I did not kill any cows or pigs to make this sandwich right here. That kind of logic is fucking stupid. The animal was already dead. I'm not killing the animal. I am not a murderer. I am not a rapist. And I'm not committing any sort of violent act. If violent act means uh, eating the sandwich, then you might be able to say that I'm committing a violent act. One thing that you left out is the domestication. Why do I not go out and go and slaughter my friend's dogs? Because they were not brought up to be food. On the other hand, cows, pigs, whatever else, were domesticated into being tasty burgers. So that's the reason why I should be okay with eating the burgers. They were brought up that way, so what should be the huge deal if I go and eat them? Two, stick with basic evidence instead of going out and finding more evidence makes your argument more weak. When you're just using basic arguments when you could have branched out and used way more, makes your argument look more weak in retrospect. With all these grievances put in place, I have to argue the relevance of your channel. All of your videos are just regurgitations, adding nothing new to the table or putting in a decent perspective, which is two crucial things of being a ranter. If you want to do a rant video and talk about something, one, provide something new to the table, and or put a decent perspective on it. If you could not do any of this stuff, then all I'm going to view you as is just an extra person in the ranting community, not an individual ranter. And the dramatic readings. Oh boy. The dramatic fucking readings. Why? Why do you constantly make your channel revolves around dramatic readings? There is not one person, except for PM Rants, who managed to do dramatic readings well. And the reason why PM Rants managed to do it well is that he managed to add weight and also compensate by counteracting their points with his own points, which is what made his videos good. When you can add new points and say new points, it's way more better than just reading out comments in a kooky voice with other YouTubers, which is the problem I have with your dramatic readings. They add nothing interest whatsoever. There's nothing interesting in them, it's just someone reading something in a kooky voice. Final verdict, oh, and by the way, official GHG, like I said, I'm not going against you, I'm merely giving you criticism. So, without in third word ado, my final verdict is that I think that you're not very emotive in what you're saying. Your your backing to your voice doesn't really sound clarative enough. I feel as if you put more emotion in what you're saying, your videos would be leaps and bounds better. Because at the moment it doesn't sound as if you give a shit. And we could argue if you did or not, but it seems as if you do give a shit. So please just work on your emotion. That's all. Goodbye. Have a nice day.